Okay, let me show you a neat little trick, and if you're not doing this trick, it's a multi-levered, multi-leveled trick, and it's not really, it shouldn't be a trick, it should be common sense, but common sense isn't that common. Uh, I'm the hardcore king of the hill, and uh, you think that's boasting? I don't give a damn, it's still a fact. Hardcore king of the hill when it comes to data protection, backups, archives, and redundancies, and all the various platforms or pluses and their minuses when it comes to your system. Uh, here's something everybody should have. Now, i got tons and tons of hard drives. I mean, I've got hundreds of hard drives, literally. Yeah, hundreds. I've got tons and tons of data. This is, uh, this is an anchor, by the way, or a U-Speed. Um, it's a hard drive dock. Now, you see a, a conventional hard drive back here, and uh, the issue with those is, and I made a video on uh, hard drive failures. There's literally every year endless thousands of hard drives go in uh, to uh, the garbage bin and to the landfill that are perfectly good. What do I mean by that? Someone's hard drive will quote unquote die, but it's actually not the hard drive. This is a little USB 3 hard drive back here, and I got plenty of those. That's fine. Of course, they're very useful. You just plug in a USB cord, stick it in the back of your computer. But there's a bridge in there. It's called a SATA bridge. And uh, that is the failure point uh, for hard drives. But it's not part of the hard drive. It literally is about the size of a five-pack stick of gum. It unplugs from the hard drive. And that's the point of failure. I've had thousands of people on a video that I made on how to protect... Uh, your data and uh, how to recover your data from a quote-unquote dead hard drive. It's not really a dead hard drive, it's a dead SATA bridge. People are endlessly thankful to me for telling them what it is. They go out to Best Buy and they'll like buy a hard drive enclosure, which includes a little SATA bridge. And they'll unplug it. you got to crack these open like a clamshell and you got to disconnect the hard drive. They just unplug like Legos. But that's the failure point. And uh, I use naked hard drives, but this video is not about that. It is about having a uh, system clone. This is the world's thinnest hard drive, by the way. This is a 500 gig Seagate. It's uh, right at 5 millimeters, so this is currently on a conventional hard drive, the world's thinnest hard drive. Um, they're kind of hard to come by. You don't have to buy one like that. I mean, use a 3.5 inch or... You know, whatever you want, but this is a uh, hard drive dock for your naked hard drives. Okay, plug it in there, USB 3, and power. You need to get is to download, whether you're using Mac or Windows, doesn't matter. Um, I use a carbon copy cloner. I use Super Duper. It makes a clone of your hard drive. So once I actually clone my hard drive, if I ever have, uh, I don't have a hard drive in this, I got a solid state in this, but it doesn't make any difference whether it's solid state or hard drive. Make a clone of my system and all my working files. Once you get a new computer and you get it up and running with all your applications and just the way you want it, then you make a clone. You periodically update it. I'm not talking about backing up your data. I'm talking about something totally separate than backups and data archives. I'm talking about making a clone of your system. Once I've cloned the system, this is bootable. That means that uh, I, my, this computer is portable anywhere on this drive. All I have to do is I don't have to use this. I could actually use other enclosures. I could stick this in an enclosure in a little small system like this, which I've got. You can buy those boxes for like $20. Just a little box with a SATA bridge card and a USB 3 cable. I can boot my system here from any Macintosh anywhere. I just will choose the boot drive from my system preferences and then I'll boot from there and my entire system in every aspect of its beauty and my use is right here. So if I ever have a hard drive crash or a solid state drive crash in this case, no issues. I get it replaced, then I'll reverse clone it from here to here. On a regular computer, um, like my Mac Mini or uh, my MacBook Pro, which is, it uses a conventional hard drive, all I have to do is just unscrew it and then just swap out the drives. So. I'm up and running instantly, all the time, and, you know, add-ons and plug-ins and all the nonsense and setting up your computer. You'll never have to do that again. You just keep periodic updates of your system using Super Duper or Carbon Copy Cloner. And I think Carbon Copy Cloner is available for Windows also. You just stick it in a naked hard drive dock, clone your system, and then you've got it right there. This also eliminates the failure point of these which is the SATA bridge card, S-A-T-A. -A. That is the weak link in all these, like I said, literally every year, countless thousands of perfectly working hard drives are thrown in the treads. Like, oh, that's a dead hard drive. It doesn't boot easy. They throw it. The hard drive inside likely 
Not always, but 90% of the time is perfectly fine. Like, what? Yeah. There are endless hundreds of thousands of perfectly working hard drives and landfills buried God knows how far underneath the ground because someone thought the hard drive was dead and it wasn't. It's a little SATA bridge card. You want to Google that? Fine. You can check the link below. I've written articles for Apple on this. SATA bridge card failure. So check the link below on that, okay? And, uh... Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two, but I'm trying to save you time and money because when it comes to hard drive failure or solid state drive failure, it's not a matter of if it's going to happen, but when it's going to happen. And if you have a clone, then you're always safe. Your downtime is gone from this to this. Well, it's gone basically to zero. So always remember that. You should always not just have backups and archives of your data, but you should have bootable clones okay there's every professional in the world this is the secret this is it should be common sense but it's not a bootable clone okay thanks for watching catch you later bye